All right, here we go, folks. Um, we do have Victor, I believe, on the line. Uh, if you want to see the photographs uh, from the alien interview interrogation, we'll find out what it is. Uh, they are at www.artbell.com. That's www.artbell.com. These photographs come to us courtesy of a video allegedly smuggled from Area 51 by the man I think you're about to hear from, Victor. Now, let us first uh, discern whether we have Sean here. Sean? I'm here, boss. Okay. Uh, here we go, I think. Uh, let's see if we've got Victor on the line. Victor, are you there? I'm here. Uh, welcome to the program, Victor. Yes, I think it's fair to say at this moment I'm in defense. Uh, this snafu with the telephone numbers. Can I ask you who is at your studio at this time? Well, I'm here. Uh, and other uh, uh, No, uh, my wife is. Um, my wife is here, of course. I, I I do my broadcast from home, Victor. And other than myself and my wife, there's nobody. Ah. Uh, well, I can. I would. Just at this moment, I believe that 45 minutes from now, I will have finished my last public pronouncement because this uh, this business with Jeff and the, the phone numbers is not part of the agreement. Well, Victor, it was just a problem because somebody wrote a seven instead of a one. That's that's you know, it was just a, a simple mistake. All right, sure. well, we're sorry. Yeah, we are sorry, and it was just a simple mistake. Is exactly correct. Uh, Victor, oh, who who is that second voice? I'm sorry, this is Sean Morton. How are you, sir? Oh, Mr. Morton. Nice to talk to you. Yes. Uh, if if you can, Victor, we would like to both probably uh, ask you some questions if we can. Uh, obviously, if you can't answer a question, you let us know, and uh, you know we'll back away. Um, by the way, uh, by the way, uh, Mr. Morton. Yes, sir. John Morton. I. I have come into possession of your Delphi Associate newsletter dated yes. April 11th, yes. 1997, and I, and I have to say this is how misinformation proliferates. I don't know where you got your information about what I have stated to the rocket people, but there are a number of statements here that are, that are incorrect. Okay, well, maybe we should start there, because I tried to check everything with Jeff. All I, all I had was... Mr. Broad, yes, Mr. Broadstreet. He has uh, successfully prevented me from <sighs> prescribing myself a double bushmel for nerves. I, frankly, well, let's leave that for the moment. All right. Uh, in your newsletter, you state, Victor was assisting in the downloading of video analog footage to digital computer storage. I have never stated that I was assisting or participating in this downloading. I mentioned the downloading. I referred to the downloading in my cryptic attempt to suggest how the tape was smuggled out, as uh, everyone referred to seems to prefer to refer to it. Is that a reasonable um, a reference to it, smuggled? Well, not in the sense of... Well, later in the same newsletter, uh, Mr. Morton says that I... Let me see if I can find it here. Uh, where is it? Victor? Oh, yes. Uh, and an opportunity came where he was left unwatched and unsupervised for a scant few moments, which allowed him to make a quick VHS copy of footage he was viewing and somehow managed to smuggle it off the base in a bag with some other equipment. Now, I've never made a statement like this. It's a, a charming scene for a, for a science fiction movie, but uh, frankly, a VHS tape has never come onto or been taken off of the S4. All right, Victor, wow. Victor, this is Art Bell. Listen, let's not concentrate on what he's got wrong. Let's right. concentrate on what really did happen. All right. Okay, so first of all, how did you get this tape? Can you say that? I cannot say specifically how I came into possession of this tape. I have stated, I stated in the interview with the rocket people, which, by the way, was in September of last year, I was, I was under the impression that I would be through with my contractual obligations to them by Christmas. Um, but that's neither here nor there. I came into possession of this tape 
thanks to a confluence of circumstances, which I can relate now. I was not able to relate it in September, uh, but circumstances have changed, which we may may get to. Uh, the the linchpin of the possibility that that was afforded to me to bring out this particular piece of information is that Area 51 is now defunct as an operating location for for the government's alien program. Mm -hmm. And this process has been ongoing since 1991. All right, can we ask you straight out, did you bring that tape out of Area 51 personally, or did you uh, acquire it after it had been removed by somebody else? I was the active agent in removing the data that appears on that tape from S4. From S4. The tape itself is a simple VHS copy which I provided to Rocket Pictures. The actual data was digital. Uh -huh. It was a, a relatively small bundle of information. Uh, it did not require anything so uh, conspicuous as a, as a VHS tape to be brought out. And I will not say at this time whether it was brought out in a discrete unit or whether it was smuggled out in some other... All right, but in a, in a digital form like an AVI file or something like that that you then converted to analog uh, to VHS. Something like that. Okay, okay. that makes sense. Um, what does... Do you know what DNI stands for? Department of Naval Intelligence. Okay, that settles that one. Were you an employee or are you now an employee of Area 51? Uh in September, they asked me the same question after we had a pre-interview in which I stated that I would not answer it. I, I suppose it's a question that has to be asked. I'm not going to answer whether I was an employee uh, at S4, but I have been physically on the site, and uh, you can look into the various options available to an individual to bring them to that all right, well, all right, Victor. Well, not too many people get invited as just visiting uh, to Area S4. So, I would well, say that's a fair assessment. <laughs> right. So, uh, is it reasonable to ask you how you were transported to the base? I live in Pahrump, Nevada, where every morning there are buses, Victor, that take employees to Area 51. Hell, it says Area 51 right on the side. Other people are flown out to Area 51. Yes, for, well, again, I don't want to specify too specifically because it will tend to indicate when I was there, but they uh, do run the EG&G 737 out of McCarran and uh, more recently uh, CT-43 transports. Um, and uh, I, 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 I suppose I can say I did not take the bus. Okay. Um, uh, okay, good. Um, then you flew. Uh, so next question is, um, how, long, how long had that alien, do you know, been on the base before uh, they filmed a, that segment of which you have a portion? Approximately 10, no, I'm sorry, 20 months. It was brought in, uh, in huh. late... 1989, and uh, the tape was from January of 1991. Okay. Uh, do, do you know how we got our hands on this alien? Was it as a result of a crash or a landing, or do you have any history at all? Well, this brings up a question that's central to the whole issue of, of the government's um, retention of these beings. I believe the government's position is that they shot this alien down. Uh, I do not personally believe that the government could shoot this alien down if the alien did not choose to be shot down. Uh, but perhaps now is not the right time to be getting, getting into the larger issues of, of, of their presence. You are aware that we have then the technology to shoot down alien craft? I am aware that our technology has been used 
to down alien craft, whether our technology is advanced enough to to give us the power to choose to bring one of these crafts down is another matter entirely. There, uh, well. All right, Victor, uh, there were a lot of people who viewed the video. Some, um, uh, you know, on Strange Universe, they saw just a very few seconds of it. And, um, uh, or no, the entire thing, I believe. And Whitley Strieber was one of them who, rea who reacted very emotionally, Victor, and thought that alien was being treated badly. Can you characterize the treatment of the alien in the course of the whole thing? The, uh, the alien was being treated badly, but not... Uh, that that was not the intention. Uh, the 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 maltreatment of the aliens stems from our essential helplessness to to uh, either help or affect them. Um, the the the, uh, the dog and pony show of a medical team handling the uh, physical debilities of these beings is uh, one of the constant sources of uh, paranoia and, and chaos within the administration of, of, of these programs, uh, the, uh, you, you find a uh, high degree of deg um, uh, well-educated charlatanism uh, within these programs simply because the government requires that various disciplines deal with these aliens and these disciplines do not have the science uh, to, to back up their uh, their efforts. Um, this brings up, I, I've been given a tape of uh, Mr. Strieber's appearance on your program. Not, well, yes, I'm April not, yes. 12th. Yes. And uh, I just want to respond to, or well, possibly two of his statements over the course of, of, of this call, but one in particular now, he, he uh, uh, took me to task for a statement uh, I made in the interview to Rocket Pictures, uh, in which I said that uh, that well, again, this was second-hand information, but I said that the that the position of the scientists who had studied this was that the aliens had had eliminated viral and microbial life from their own ecosystem, and Mr. Strieber made the. Uh, the sensible point from a terrestrial point of view that um, microbes play a beneficial as well as a harmful role in uh, the um, health and uh, and correct functioning of, of human beings and that therefore it was uh, scientifically foolish to make this comment. Well, first of all, I have not specified that I'm a scientist, so uh, I, I'm not going to uh, jump up on my high horse and at this, uh, but I would like to point out that the the overriding uh, uh, quality of these beings is a level of advancement beyond our ability to understand what it is they are doing, both as beings and as workers of technological apparent miracles. Were we able to communicate with it? This is another uh, issue that is fraught with uh, uh, ambiguity. But let me let me finish the uh, the comment about the uh, uh, about microbes. Um, all the evidence suggests that these beings are biologically inert in relation to our ecosystem. They, they, they might as well be a petri dish. And the, 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 the statement that I made, which again was second-hand information, background information, but the comment that I made uh, seeking to explain the last partition between the, uh, the interviewer and the, uh, the being, yes. and uh, is seeking to explain the, the sort of uh, uh, lackadaisical uh, um, hygienic standards of the medical team, was that there's, there's a half-hearted, by now, attempt to minimize uh, microbial con contamination of the beings because the, the, the microbes uh, and, and various other um, uh, biological uh, entities uh, can form colonies within these beings' 
systems. They operate, their, their, their physiology operates uh, in a way that, that is symbolically similar, let us say, to uh, human physiology, but does not appear to uh, include the, the, the normal uh, biological uh, Okay, Victor. Victor, we're, we're, Victor, Victor, if you t Victor, 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 can you hear me? Yes. Uh, hold on. We're at the bottom of the hour. We've got a break here. We'll be right back. This is CBC. Toll free, west of the Rockies at 1-800-618-8255, 1-800-618-8255, east of the Rockies at 1-800-825-5033, 1-800-825-5033, this is the CBC Radio Network. It is, my guests are the mysterious Victor, the man who has supplied Rocket Video with the alien interrogation video, if that's the right name for it, I'm not sure it is. And Sean David Morton, back to them in a moment. Now back to Victor, who is using a voice changer to protect his identity, and Sean David Morton. Uh, Victor. Yes. Um, let me try asking again. You, you've kind of characterized this alien as kind of like a Petri dish, or a, uh, here at any rate, in a Petri dish. Um, might I ask, did we manage any form of communication with it? This is um, this is the great mystery involved in 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 the government uh, hosting of these beings since uh, since the late forties. In fact, the the telepathic capabilities of these beings. Uh, ha has been long established, at least insofar as BNI is concerned. Um, that that was another statement that uh, Mr. Uh, Schreiber, uh, uh, Strieber, Strieber made uh, on your program that uh, that the telepath that the, that the statement that the the man in the foreground uh, in the video is a telepath seemed like uh, science fiction, um, but. Uh, and I actually agree with him more than perhaps he would expect. Um, the issue here is that no one who has ever been in the presence of these beings has not felt as if thoughts, not his own, were entering his brain. And this has been long established, and uh, various experiments have been done uh, in which the government satisfied itself that these beings were giving off some form of telepath telepathic uh, or thought transfer telepathic contact or thought transference the the question mark is whether certain individuals truly are more capable of receiving and returning these messages than the average person sure and this this is one of the elements of the entire Black program related to to uh, alien visitors that I find amusing. Uh, I believe that uh, that many, if not all, of the telepaths who have been recruited or who have who have cleverly managed to get themselves recruited into this program are largely the same sort of charlatans you can call. Uh, late at night, uh, you know, at 99 cents a minute or whatever. It is. So, in other words, you're not you're not trusting of whatever information uh, they think they might have gleaned. I I believe it is at best heavily influenced by the uh, assumptions and beliefs and hopes of these individuals, and at worst, uh, is a deliberate attempt to tell the government what the government wants to know. Yep. 
and uh, th this may account for uh, part of the fact that the uh, it may account in part, I should say, for the fact that the government has had these beings for uh, for for fifty years now, and uh, and has uh, amassed a constant. Uh, and ever-growing stream of data supposedly emanating from them, and yet uh, is, is incapable of consistently using this technology or entering into uh, effective relations with these beings. Um, so you're saying we really have not effectively communicated with them. There has been no vocal communication? The, the aliens do not speak. Um, what about uh, hand signs or other methods of communication that would tell us these are sentient uh, uh, beings and not, well, not robotic in nature? That's a, that's a very astute question. Um, the, the, the telepathy and the technology which they so clearly possess uh, are, the, uh, are the only signs of their sentience. Uh, the uh, as as for their gestures, uh, well, yes, they 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 have uh, they have on occasion used um, uh, gestures uh, such as stop or or or, or come here mm -hmm. um, that uh, that mimic uh, signs that I suppose they have seen uh, among the uh, the human personnel that they've uh, encountered and the civilians, by the way. Uh, but uh, the, this business of pictographs, which uh, which uh, Mr. Broadstreet uh, gave quite a bit of em emphasis to in, the, in this video, this never-ending video, which I thought I was through with uh, <laughs> seven months ago. It is important, uh, Victor, uh, because um, the, the video, of course, is incredible, yeah. but, but your words about it um, go a long way toward backing it up or causing people to become very skeptical. Uh, may I ask you, Victor, why the room was kept so dark? Is it because of the large eyes and the sensitivity to light? This is the uh, th this is the official explanation for for the darkness of the room. But you'll note that the the alien uh, himself is uh, um, bathed in light. It's the room that's dark, uh, and I frankly don't have uh, a, an adequate explanation for this. All right, the alien in the second photograph with the doctor present, whose face, I understand, has been erased. Um, oh, I'm what, sorry? Okay. With, the, with the doctor pe present in the who, second. Uh, who told you his face has been erased? Who, um, well, it, it looks as though it has been... Um, uh, I'm sorry, which, which figure are you referring to? I'm referring to an apparent physician who has his finger, a gloved oh. finger, in the mouth. Yes, well, his, his, his features are not... Uh, visible. That's the uh, that's the effect of the mask. I I did nothing, and I don't believe Rocket has done anything to distort the actual images. Well, that's interesting. In fact, uh, the, the images are a bit degraded from the VHS copy. I'm sure they are. Sure. Um, the, the 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 telepath in the left foreground uh, is so dark that uh, a number of people have missed him. In fact, uh, Rocket. Uh, just sent uh, the video to be analyzed by some uh, computer uh, whiz in, in uh, um, Phoenix, Phoenix, Arizona. Uh -huh. uh, Jeff, uh, Dr. Jim Delatoso in Phoenix. Uh, yes, uh, well, there, there he is. Uh, uh, Phoenix, yes. Uh, he, he analyzed uh, the, the footage, uh, made a number of, I, made a number of uh, odd statements. Um, but one thing, uh, he, he, he commented on the three uh, human individuals uh, in, in the video. There are four. He, apparently, he did not even see the, uh, the, the person on the left, which I find bizarre. Okay, we'll take a look. Now, Now, he, the doctor or the uh, physician, or whatever we've got here, with his finger in the alien's mouth yeah. in the second photograph. Yeah. The alien was apparently having some sort of seizure and was frothing. Um, did this, was this... A dying alien? Did this alien die? I, I think you will find. Uh, I, I think you will find that all of the reports of these beings inevitably end with them dying, uh, and, and most of their appearances uh, 
are, are in a condition that seems to be debilitated. Uh, in uh, in September, when uh, when Rocket interviewed me, uh, I was not prepared to say that the alien was dead. I only uh, knew that he uh, disappeared from S4, but that was some. Um, but that was also at the point when S4 was uh, being stood down. Do you now know him to be dead? I I now believe very strongly that the alien is dead. I I would go so far as to say that all of the beings in the government's possession are now dead. Are we mistreating them? Uh, did the Romans mistreat Jesus? This, this is this is the the central issue for me, and increasingly, and and uh, even more so. Uh, uh, in the time uh, since uh, since I brought out this tape, I, I believe that these beings are uh, engineering their own uh, treatment. They are presenting themselves as um, uh, a task to us, and uh, I I don't uh, I, I do not believe that if they uh, were not willing to be treated in the way that we treat them. Uh, we would we would have the power to do so, but he, but he, in the sense that these beings are dying in our custody, and in the sense that our treatment of them uh, ha seems to have no uh, n no um, uh, taint of commonality, no uh, no successful uh, uh, two way communication that we can understand. I, I believe that the aliens. Uh, uh, understand us better than we understand them, and I believe that the statements they make or appear to make uh, are calibrated uh, to some purpose of their own, which is not clearly understood by us. It, yeah. Okay, well, that, that brings me to the next question. That is, uh, with um, whatever has been divined, is there anything you're fairly sure you can tell us about what they're all about, where they're from, and what their agenda is? Is in other words, what they want, why they're here, that that sort of thing. Is there anything that seems clear in any one of those areas to you? Clear, no. But I I I believe in in an overarching sense, uh, these beings have been here before, and the the program that they are uh, performing upon the human race uh, is is as old as the human race, um, certainly as old as consciousness, and I believe, uh, well, if... Well, okay, we're... let me try this. Um, it, you're, what you're saying might lead some to believe that they are, in fact, the architect of the human race. Is that... Without... That is... The architect uh, is not a term I would use, but, but in, in the sense that you mean that I believe, I would, I would agree, yes. All right, you have told us that the Department of Naval, Naval Intelligence yes. is the DNI. Uh, can you enlighten us at all as to the rest of the coding at the bottom? Yes. Uh, let me see. Do I have, do I have the... Uh, I'd be glad to read you uh, what we have on one. The latest photograph we have says, DNI slash 2704 slash 025818. Yes, this is not, um, yeah, it, it's not really uh, the issue. Can, can you hold on one second? Sure. I'm sorry. No problem. Yes, at any rate, DNI is the Department of Naval Intelligence. 27 is a, uh, uh, refers to a system of division that uh, DNI adopted uh, back when they first began using time code, and it's a jerry-rigged uh, adaptation of an earlier logging system for uh, visual uh, documentation, uh, and then the uh, the final eight digits are self-explanatory. They're sure. uh, hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. Okay. And 27 has no meaning in and of itself. It, it, it it's merely a logging uh, system that can uh, that can be uh, be accessed uh, uh, according to code books and, and uh, what have you. All right. Um, some people have said, why is the video so foggy? Now, I, I, I view it as fairly clear, but um, one would imagine that with the high-tech video equipment we have, 
uh, you would get very, very, very sharp images. Do you have any comment on that? Well, part of the fogginess is the VHS copy, and uh, I'm I'm debating the, the possibly the, when I when I delivered this tape originally, I I I was extremely paranoid, and I have not become sure. less paranoid. <laughs> but I believe I, I I understand where I stand a little bit better now. Are you um, in, are you in fear of your life? Um, well, the, the simple answer is yes, but. Uh, it, uh, I'm by nature an observer. I, I have not personally experienced uh, harassment, and I, I think I've been relatively successful in uh, maintaining my anonymity and, and uh, so you are, you, you, so to speak. But uh, you, you are convinced they, they do not in, in the experiences of others, both both uh, individuals who who are known to the public because they 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 made it into the media and uh, and uh, other individuals that uh, there are great dangers involved in, in in bringing this kind of information out, not because the government is all powerful, but because the government is. Uh, is and knows itself to be out of control uh, in relation to this uh, phenomenon. They 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 crave control and they have no control. And uh, as it leaks away from them, they uh, can become vicious. Hmm. Uh, Sean, do you have any questions? Well, specifically, um, there was no sound on the tape that uh, that we were given. Can you? Yes. Oh, can, can I break in here, Jeff? Just supplied me with a note, which I suppose qualifies as a commercial. He says, he says the video in the in the rocket tape is fairly clear, not foggy. This is true. It does look better in the video. Okay. Uh, but uh, all right. Yes. Yeah. It, it is. Oh, we never did finish that point. It is dark, and I do not. I do not have a, an answer that satisfies me for why this. So this, this business of the aliens needing the environment to be dark. Uh, does not wash with me, uh, mainly because uh, the, the being itself is, is, is bathed in light. Um, on the other hand, well, if I, if I go any further in this direction, I, I think I may be stepping into the into the areas that I am trying to avoid uh, for my own self protection. Uh, Victor said, in, in, uh, you said in your interview that you had actually. Uh, Personally seen this creature on an occasion? Can you tell us? This is this is the case, but I made it uh, I made it abundantly clear that it was not necessarily the session that that is uh, uh, represented in this video. Yes, but can you tell us about what happened when you actually saw the creature and what your opinion was and what your thoughts were? Well, no, I can't. I I I, I can tell a secondhand anecdote. I, if, if I speak about the occasion when I personally encountered the being, I would be compromising myself. All right. What about your emotions? In other words, what did you feel when you were in its presence? Can you describe that at all? Did you feel awed? Did you feel, did you feel sorrow? Did you feel uh, elated? What did you feel? I felt sorrow. I felt anger. I um, I am not by nature a, 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 an, an emotional. Well, I I am an emotional person. I am not by nature a an interactive person. A person who uh, who uh, um, makes emotional connections easily. And certainly, in in the presence of a of a being from another world, one would think this would be even more difficult. However, I. Like everyone, as I say, who, who has ever uh, come into uh, immediate contact with these beings, I felt a uh, an intense presence within me that was utterly foreign to my experience before that time. And I'm, uh, I must say, this has uh, changed me. It has had an effect that I I, I did not choose, and I I, I still. Um, possibly willfully re refuse to welcome. I'm uh, in the beginning when I when I brought this tape out. Uh, I suppose, in a sense, it was an emotional reaction to that meeting. But uh, it's it, it's it's gotten away from me. This this effort on my part to to do my bit, so to speak. Uh, that's a very that's a very important question, Victor. Um, you 
you got this out of Area 51 in the way described earlier. Why? Not described earlier, as a matter of fact. But well, by digital forum, in other words. Yeah, well, it, 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 it was made possible by, by the digitizing of these old analog. I, I've got you. Um, but my question is, what was your motivation in bringing it out? Did you just want the American people to know? Is that the idea? Well, it, as a matter of fact, um, on uh, on your own show, the uh, with Whitley Strieber, I, there was something that he said that that um, uh, struck me so so singularly that I that I wrote it down. And as a matter of fact, I have it here on a on a uh, scrap of paper. He said, "This is the face that mankind is turning to this other world," and I suppose to some extent that was my motive for for uh, attempting to place this before the public. I I believe I believe that these beings cannot be harmed by us in any significant way in in any way that that is meaningful to them. But at the same time, I believe they're they're presenting us with a with a sort of test. They 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 ha have appeared uh, in 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 an incomprehensible panoply of of uh, circumstances in front of. Uh, uh, private individuals who are then left, uh, metaphorically speaking, wandering in the wilderness, um, unable to uh, to uh, convince the the world at large that what they what they've experienced is, is real. And at the same time, they have they have uh, involved themselves in this this incomprehensible. Victor, Victor, I, I've got to stop you. We're at the top of the hour, and I'm asking you to stay over a little bit because we haven't had a full hour with you. Oh, it is one now. It, it already is. How time flies, huh? Well, you you caught me in the middle of, of my my larger statement, I suppose, so I, I, I will hold on. Very good. Stand by, Victor. Stand by, Sean David Morton. I'm Art Bell. This is CBC. Taking calls on the wild card line at 702-727-1295. That's 702-727-1295. First time callers can reach Art Bell at 702-727-1222. 702-727-1222. Now, here again, Art Bell. Good morning. My guests are Sean David Morton and the mysterious and for a good reason, Victor, who brought out, got out, took out, managed to uh, somehow get out a digital a version of the alien interview that, um, uh, that can be seen in single uh, picture form, at least a couple of photographs, on my website now at www.artbell.com. We'll get back to Victor in a moment. Now, back to Sean David Morton and... Victor, gentlemen, welcome back. How far down did you look? Thank you. Uh, we are uh, we are back on the air, and if everybody would turn off their radios, please. Yes. Okay. Um, Victor and I were just talking about. Uh, uh, he was asking me whether or not it was me that found the hill that looked down on the base, and I told him that it was. And yes, indeed. I don't know if he's there. Are you there? Victor? Yes, I'm, I'm here. Uh, okay. Victor, um, might I ask then? Uh, can you give us any physical details of the base itself? In other words. Uh, what the hangars are like, uh, what the buildings are like, anything at all about... Are you referring to the Groom Dry Light sure. facility or to S4? Um, either one that you're able to describe, actually. Well, um, uh, groom, the Groom Dry Light facility uh, has been broadcast uh, several times now on, on, uh, on various programs, and uh, the... Uh, it, it, it is a relatively open facility in comparison to S4, um, which, as you may or I'm sure you do know, is, is uh, 10 miles to the south in uh, Papus, uh, abutting Papus Lake. 
Well, we have seen satellite photographs of Area 51. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the demise of Area 51. You're seeing the uh, the uh, open skies 3D, the uh, the uh, UFO tourism, which uh, Mr. Morton is a uh, is a big contributor um, to, and uh, the uh, also a certain psychological uh, effect. At least that's how I see it uh, of the uh, Gulf War when the uh, when the soldiers came back from the Gulf War uh, uh, complaining of Gulf War syndrome and this, this uh, saturated the media uh, I, I believe this was uh, a direct um, cause of the uh, lawsuit of the various uh, Area 51 employees who claimed that they had been harmed by uh, the, the years of uh, fallout from uh, right. the nuclear testing uh, at, at any rate all of these uh, all of these uh, uh, causes contributed to uh, w what is now the uh, the case at, at Area 51, which is that the the uh, uh, saucer program and the uh, the uh, attempts at uh, communication with the beings and the facilities uh, for the beings are, are now uh, abandoned. All right, um, we we've seen the photographs of what is above ground at uh, Area 51. I would be interested in any description of S4 or to know how much of Area 51 and or S4 is underground. Uh, yes, uh, nothing uh, significant is underground at the Groom Dry Lake facility. However, S4 has four underground levels uh, for a total of five if you count the uh, surface. And uh, these are devoted to, um, are you able to describe what these levels are devoted to, to any degree? The, the, uh, the first two levels uh, at, uh, at S4 are the, uh, the, uh, the domain of the uh, back engineering program uh, for the saucers, which I'm sure that uh, you're, you, you've heard all, you've heard your fill of from uh, Robert Lazar and others. You bet. Uh, level three and four, um, below the, uh, 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 below level one and two, uh, uh, is the domain of the, uh, the program uh, dealing with the EBDs. Can you? It, it includes the, it includes the living quarters for the EBDs. Who, by the way, uh, breathe, uh, breathe oxygen. Uh, during the during the chaos, of the phone number. I uh, I heard a bit of your earlier program. I'm not sure if I uh, if I heard you correctly uh, uh, debating uh, what the what the aliens breathe. Uh, uh, they breathe oxygen. They they can walk uh, walk down any street in America and uh, huh. and uh, survive as well as they survive. Well, if that is the case, can you describe then the reason for the apparent seizure? That that alien was having, or the reason that they die. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, In other words, they just handed me another note, and I, I would you repeat the question? Okay. Yes. Uh, sure. The question is, uh, if oxygen uh, is is common, if they Maybe breathe not. as we do, then can you tell well, us that? I didn't say. I'm uh, again. This is the uh, this is one of the mysteries of the beings and their technology. Um, uh, did we did we finish uh, did I finish my comment earlier about uh, 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 Schreiber's uh, uh, Schreiber's uh, um, comment about uh, about the telepathy the the, 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 the issue or, or I'm sorry about the, uh, the the microbes they to a certain extent the beings appear to be only symbolically biological now uh, what I mean by that is they uh, they, uh, w when they're autopsy, they have the organs of a biological entity. They appear to function as a biological entity, but there is uh, there is a uh, there there is a lack of the uh, chemical and physical functions one would expect in a biological entity, and uh, this has led uh, many individuals to consider them to be somehow. Uh, um, not uh, not quite physical that, that they are that they are uh, somehow hallucinatory no matter how physical they may appear to be <laughs> but uh, another way of looking at it and and this r relates to the uh, to their technology as well is to just simply say that we are not capable 
of understanding how they have evolved or how they have changed themselves in their in, in their own environment. Because, I mean, think about it. If you took a, a simple teenager's CD of today, you know, the, 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 uh, some, some rock with the, the Pink Floyd or, or, or the Matching Pumpkins, and you took that CD and uh, somehow transferred it back 100 years, there would be no science uh, on the face of the earth that would uh, uh, be able to uh, uh, tell you what that CD was for or how it operated. Yes, it would be. It would be. And as, no evidence. It would be as magic. Um, that's a good point. Now, Victor, uh, this alien was in distress. Obviously, it was sick. Um, is there something on Earth that causes them to have a shortened lifespan? Um, that you're aware. Of? This is the source of constant theories and no effective treatment. Um, it, it, it is. It, it is not. I do not believe that the aliens are are dying because they cannot live in our environment. Um, I, I frankly, I'm, I, I I don't want to make too many religious allusions, but uh, to to a certain extent, I for some reason my mind keeps coming back to the uh, to the story of Jesus, which before this occurred, I did not uh, uh, believe to be uh, a, a uh, historical fact. But at any rate, the, the, certainly symbolically it's applicable that, uh, that the, the Son of God would make himself vulnerable to, to, uh, to human uh, action when uh, obviously the Son of God would not be uh, in that uh, position. Uh, did you see any other natural condition? Sorry, did you did you see any other creatures being interviewed other than this one? I mean, on the video that you did. I did not personally see any other creatures, and I did not see any videotape of other species. I saw a videotape of a uh, of a uh, uh, of a being uh, of the same species, uh, another being, um, as uh, to the uh, uh, frankly. Uh, well, again, to, I, I don't want to get into things that will that will tend to uh, narrow down my my participation uh, in, and, and make it more clear right. where I fit into this. But but I'm I am not 100 percent a believer in the the, the Pleiadian uh, aliens and the, the various other uh, the, the the more humanoid uh, the species. The uh, I believe they're wish fulfillment. Do we know where these? particular aliens this particular alien is from I believe they are from not here I do not believe that they are necessarily from uh, the, the, the far reaches of space from uh, from say the reticuli what have you um, I, I the the, the um, very various uh, science fiction writers and, and scientists have uh, have postulated different forms of uh, alternate universes and I don't believe there's really any scientific understanding of this phenomenon but if I were to choose uh, a, 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 an answer to that question I would say they come from another dimension they come from uh, the, a contiguous place that is not uh, available to us uh, whereas their, their place and ours are, are, are equally available to them. Very informative. All right, what is the tone at Area 51? In other words, are they planning at some point, do you believe, to go public, release anything soon? Will there be a moment of revelation, or are they going to continue to keep this um, black? I believe that the, uh, the real, uh, the, the very real... Uh, Radioactive contamination from fallout is, is developing into a cover story, uh, which may or may not allow the the government to uh, begin allowing outsiders into Area 51 to show everyone that it was simply a base, uh, an artifact of, of Cold War uh, spy operations. Where uh, while all the the functional operations are moved uh, uh, northeast into Utah. Okay. Can, this is my belief. Can you? I, in other words, there is a very good chance that uh, Sean Morton will very soon be able to get off his hill, 
go down into Area 51 <laughs> and be told nothing ever happened here. <laughs> I'm sure he'll that. that. Case, but I You're already trying to say that, that Victor. <laughs> Can you confirm the Bob Lazar story as basically accurate? Uh, I... Um, what, what is the Bob? <laughs> the Bob, I, Bob? I, I, I have heard a number of... Uh, um, all right, I, uh, Victor, I have interviewed Bob Lazar. He basically contends that over a period of time, he worked on several craft at Area S4. Yes. Uh, and you, would you confirm that much? I will not confirm that Robert Lazar worked on these craft, but I believe that his information is largely correct. Uh, again, uh, possibly scuttling back behind uh, my my anonymity, I, I don't want to specify too much of, of my own contact with All right. can the you, hardware. Can you confirm that the, that those craft were at one time there? Yeah, yes, oh, d absolutely. There is no, uh, yes, I can, I can confirm that. Could you tell us where they might have moved those craft? Um, I mean, not the other stuff like the X-33 and all the stuff they're moving to Utah, but the actual flying stuff. The saucers themselves, I don't believe, have been moved at this time. Uh-huh. Uh, I believe they will be moved, and I cannot tell you how they will be moved. Um, I, I, have they? I, I have not made a study of, of, the, uh, of all of the UFO lore, but I believe, uh, I, well, I was told that John Lear uh, made a claim that the uh, the uh, that that various uh, uh, government bases are connected by a vast uh, series of underground tunnels. That's right. Which would uh, which would allow for uh, these saucers to be moved underground. Now I have no knowledge of that. I have never seen evidence of these tunnels. I find it not hard to believe because uh, I have seen what the what the beings have allowed humans to do with their technology, and I suppose that if it were in it, part of their plan, they might make this uh, possible. But I, I, I believe it's beyond the scope of of uh, human engineering um, to, for instance, connect Edwards Air Force Base to to Tonopah or uh, right. or, or to Area 51. Uh, but I certainly uh, believe, even if this is true, and I am not aware of it, that there are no tunnels between. Uh, uh, between Area 51, between, well, between F4 and uh, between uh, and the Utah sites, which is where the the cover the cover program is moving, um, the uh, the uh, Michael Air Force Base and, and uh, the uh, the Utah White Sands. So then, the uh, popular mechanic story is a. Um I, is in a disinformation. Popular mechanics. Yeah, popular mechanics is uh, running a story saying that uh, Area 51 is moving, and what you just said seems to indicate that you believe that to simply be a cover. Uh, I'm sorry, cover. Uh, the, the the yeah the well yes the Groom Dry Lake operation is is more or less what the government has. Well, for a long time they they did not say it was anything, but uh, but uh, what the government would like you to believe it is, it is a, a testing ground for a super secret aircraft. Uh, the S four uh, site, um, Papoose Lake, is the uh, site of the, uh, the truly black program. Now the the Groom Dry Lake activities are unquestionably moving to Michael's Air Force. Uh, uh, base and uh, um, white sands. Uh, now, um, the, the the saucers, as I say, I don't believe they have moved yet. And uh, if the if the uh, um, if the situation at Area 51 is to be continued in its current form, then they will somehow be be lifted uh, or 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 dug to these new locations. <coughs> Um, uh, there are, Victor, a lot of people who have seen these craft flying in and around S4 and Groom Lake. Yes. Uh, and you think the craft are still below ground at S4? I believe they are, but I don't believe that anyone has actually seen one since uh, at the latest uh, early 1992, or so likely late 1991. You believe they have stopped flying? Now. I believe so. I believe any, any sighting, because this is the thing about uh, the... Uh, the uh, aerial sightings, the, you know, half of them, more than half of them, are are wishful thinking, and I I, I believe that the the, the frenzy uh, surrounding Area 51, uh, you know, causes the uh, 
media uh, causes people to see things that, right. uh, that are not there. As I told you earlier, aren't we, didn't, we didn't see anything out there uh, from the summer of, sure. of 1993 on. All right. Uh, this may seem a silly question for you, Victor, but I want to ask it. Uh, when you, it, it, for however long you were in these areas, yes. were you fed? Did they give you meals? I, actually, I have an interesting story about um, <laughs> meals. Uh, but as a matter of fact, I uh, I, I, I I can't tell you. <laughs> that would be that would be another case of me uh, identifying myself. Um, the. Uh, all I will say about meals is that at S4, uh, level uh, 3 and 4, I uh, have no uh, cafeteria facilities, and uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the personnel who work on those levels do not come up uh, to, to feed. Uh, there's a, it sounds ridiculous, but there's a, there's a dumbwaiter system that, which, which has a somewhat amusing uh, visual it acts as a somewhat amusing visual metaphor for the for the uh, transportation of the saucers to the surface, and then the, the 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 plates are coming down uh, these these uh, these dumb waiters uh, into the uh, security office uh, as these saucers are being uh, elevated uh, to the surface, and I I've often found this to be uh, obscurely amusing. Hmm. Would you describe this alien as a prisoner or a guest? Well, I uh, I think you can uh, derive my feeling about it from my earlier statements, uh, but I'll, I'll say it again. I believe that the government, uh, by turns, uh, uh, likes to pride itself on these creatures being their prisoners uh, or uh, congratulate themselves on being these creatures' hosts. But in, in fact, uh, I believe that the uh, uh, the creatures are... Uh, are, are performing their own uh, uh, their own function. function. Yeah. Uh, All right, Victor. Um, we are at the bottom of the hour, and if you wish to stay, we'd love to have you. Oh, uh, are are we going away for uh, several minutes? Several minutes. Yes. Um, well, possibly I'll stay a little longer, but I I, I, I must. Uh, for Good, you're doing very well. I, I understand. We'll try. Well, my that. my feeling is that this is perhaps my last public uh, statement. So I understand. So we should make it a good one. Stay right there. Uh, my guests, Victor and Sean David Morton. I'm Art Bell. Toll-free, west of the Rockies at 1-800-618-8255. 1-800-618-8255. East of the Rockies at 1-800-825-5033. 1-800-825-5033. This is the CBC Radio Network. My guests are Victor, who brought or caused to be brought a digital form of uh, video or video in a digital form out of Area 51 later translated to analog and on VHS that interrogation or interview of an alien Sean David Morton is also here back to them both in a moment you're listening to Victor make his last public statement and so uh, Victor I would like to ask uh, another question yes. without telling me because I realize it would compromise you, how you got, specifically how you got this information uh, digitally out, can you describe in a generic way the security at Area 51 and S4? In a generic way? In a generic way. In other words, I don't want to know how you got this out, because I'm sure you won't tell me, but I would like to know what kind of security they have at these bases. Uh, you mean uh, personnel security? Sure. Uh, what? Well, uh, the Groom Dry Lake facility is uh, uh, is 
is re- actually relatively low tech. The uh, the, uh, the they have badges and they have uh, they have uh, fingerprint readers. Uh, S four goes a step further with the retinal scan. Um, uh-huh. But uh, as far as uh, the uh, the transfer of materials out of either facility, this is strictly controlled. Um, in fact, it's an interesting um, example of how uh, the government uh, fails in its efforts, uh, e- even on, on this level, because uh, um, the, the offices and uh, the facilities that, uh, at uh, S4 um, have numerous personal mementos, which w- were, not, uh, uh, were, uh, were not supposed to be brought in and somehow were, uh, which is a never-ending source of, uh, of amazement to me. Um, well, if somebody can get somebody in, uh, so well, something, yeah. something yeah. Yes, then, well, then one well, would well, presume you could get them out as well. Is search, well, is uh, a body search a normal course of events? Yes. Yeah, certainly at S4. I, I'm, well, okay, I, I'm, I'm not going to make that statement, but uh, yeah, certainly at S4, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sean, anything you want to chime in on here? Uh, yes, can you can you describe anything about the hangars at S4? Anything unusual about the offices and and how the uh, how the hangars were actually connected? Uh, in in what in what sense? Uh, as far as were there offices at the far end of the uh, of the actual hangars at S4? Uh, at do you, do you mean uh, by the far end? Do you mean uh, in in relation to the personnel elevators or? Uh, the personnel elevators. Did you actually stay at S four? I mean, did they no, fly you up there? No, no. The uh, at, at at Groom Lake there are uh, there are uh, military personnel who who uh, sleep at the base. But at S four, the uh, the the staff is uh, um, uh, bust in and out uh, uh, on a daily basis. Mm-hmm. And you, and you were bust in and out, and then flown in and out. Yes. Um, well. Uh, Yes, all right, yes. In a sense, let us us say, metaphorically speaking, that that, that, that covers it. I I didn't want to make uh, comments about All right. Bob Lazar, Bob Lazar um, was or claimed to be working, in essence, as a subcontractor, um, a civilian, uh, employed to back-engineer these craft uh, that you talked about in S4. Right, right. Can you tell us if you were in that category? No, no. I, 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 at this point, I, I, I will understand that, that you ask these questions, but obviously that, that falls within the, the category of questions I won't answer. All right. Um, can you tell us if your um, relationship with the people there is still in place? No, I will not specify, and I will not specify whether or not I, I intend to be going on to, to Utah. Um, uh-huh. The... The, my my profile at Area 51, I think I have succeeded in keeping rather vague my public profile in, in, in the statements I've made so far. I've, I've reviewed the the tape I made for uh, for uh, Rocket um, several times, trying to uh, trying to imagine how someone might uh, infer from my statements things that I meant to keep keep secret. And um, frankly, in that case, I uh, I, I uh, forced them to uh, pre-interview me, and then I nixed uh, a number of questions, uh, and they still asked them. It, it was a semi-fiasco. Uh, from, from, from I, I think we were just curious as to whether or not you might be able to get into the base again and maybe bring more video out or more information at any point in the future. The moment when video... Uh, could be brought out, I believe, has passed. Uh, that's not to say that another uh, similar moment of uh, confusion uh, and uh, uh, indecision on the part of the uh, the, uh, the authorities uh, won't won't arise again. But uh, this this uh, this particular um, uh, two two minute fifty five second clip uh, it was uh, was. Uh, was strictly um, a, a case of, uh, of an opportunity presenting itself at a particular moment when when the uh, facility was in turmoil, 
when uh, when a number of uh, a, a number of forces came together. Uh, number one, they've they've eliminated all of their video. They, someone came up with a bright idea that that um, that uh, all of this uh, secret documentation would be more secret in a digital format. And of course, anybody involved in the internet knows this is not the case. Uh, and and, and uh, a good uh, chunk of uh, their budget that they didn't expect to be spending is now spent trying to uh, second guess the ways in which this information can be uh, spread. But at the moment that this clip uh, uh, presented itself to 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 be uh, to be uh, smuggled out, as, as as we are saying, uh, the the confusion, uh, the, the bureaucratic confusion, and the actual physical confusion at S4 made it possible, and that's no longer the case. An opportunity. All right, uh, Victor, is there any more video that you have other no, than that? No, there is not. That is I, I've seen other video, but uh, this was the piece that I, I could take. It. In, a, in a metaphorical sense, again, the uh, um, Morton's uh, misstatement in his newsletter is, in, is correct. Metaphorically, I did see the opportunity and I did take it, and this was the extent, this was the size of the bundle that I could metaphorically, again, smuggle out. Mm -hmm. There was, there, there, there was, there, there, the, 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 uh, the riches that were uh, that, that are available uh, are truly mind-boggling. And by the way, I was speaking to Morton uh, uh, during the commercial for a moment, uh, uh, and he brought up the uh, the, uh, the alien autopsy, which I, I believe, uh, in fact, I, I would say that I know has to be a hoax, because uh, if only because the, the beings in, in in that video do not resemble. Uh, any any of the beings in any of the other documentation, and I have not seen the uh, the actual autopsies from from Roswell. Um, so, All right. what, what, in some sort of strange way, uh, it, it, it could be it could be true, but I I, I, I do not believe it. Uh, uh, Victor, certainly, then. the style does not uh, resemble any of the uh, the material from the forties. All right, Victor. Then, what do you say to the people who say? This is a hoax. Uh, I say that you're right to believe that, uh, and I only hope that you study uh, the video before you uh, jump to that conclusion. Also, I, I hope that this is the beginning of a trend. I believe that I don't believe that the government can can uh, um, uh, can uh, stand down at Area 51 and not. Um, have the kind of leak that it cannot spin to its advantage uh, in the way that so many uh, previous uh, previous leaks have, have been spun. Victor, if they were to identify you now, knowing that you have ta uh, smuggled this video out, yes. uh, if they found you and identified you, what do you believe would happen to you? I uh, I am un, uncertain. Uh, clearly, Robert Lazar is still alive, uh, but I believe that he has suffered more than even he really understands uh, for for what uh, for for what he did. And uh, there have, there have been others who uh, who uh, still remain nameless. Um, the uh, I, I suppose at best I would be uh, another. be a day uh, in your life, Victor, when you will say, all right, that's it, I will come forward, I want to tell this story, my real name is, and here's what really happened. I, I can't I can't say whether that day will come. I've, I've changed in ways I didn't expect uh, since this, uh, this entire process began. Um, when, I, when I brought this uh, tape to, uh, to Rocket, uh, I was. Uh, I, I had. A, I had an idea about myself and about what I was uh, planning to do uh, after revealing this uh, tape uh, that has not come to pass. I'm. Uh, I, I'm dealing with the the the, the endless confusion that uh, seems to this Coleman character who runs the uh, Rocket uh, Rocket Pictures. Uh, you know, led me to believe this would be uh, uh, quick and, and clean and. and 
and instead uh, here we are sure. almost a year later. Uh, but at the same time, I, my 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 uh, desires for my own life have changed in ways that I, I I didn't expect. We we spoke about uh, the the effect of sure. these, these beings, and uh, my my feeling is that I I I may uh, simply fade fade out not only from this this unwanted public persona, but also uh, from from my life as I knew it. I I. I believe, to a certain extent, these beings are are are, um, are asking us to uh, to uh, step away from the life we know, and uh, and for our, uh, for human civilization to step away from uh, from from its path, and uh, and uh, step out into uh, uh, unknown areas, truly unknown. They 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 don't uh, present us with uh, maps. Um. All right, Victor. Um, uh, Sean, anything else you can think of? I just, uh, I just, I just wanted to compliment Victor on just being very eloquent and, and doing this very, very well. And, and uh, uh, I mean, I, I had, some, gosh, after that, I had mundane questions like, uh, you know, whether or not the uh, we didn't see the creatures, uh, the, the beings' hands yes. in the video, and whether or not it was either it was tied down or it could no, no, it was not tied down. Okay. The, uh, no. No, the being the, the being was weak. The being was 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 seated and uh, um, uh, was weak, but the, it was not tied down. Did it have two fingers, three fingers. Can you describe the digits on the hand? Um, it, it, it has four fingers, um, uh, one of which uh, resembles a thumb, uh -huh. but uh, but has a uh, but has a, a pivot point that uh, that uh, human thumb doesn't have. It it, it can function. Almost as a finger uh, or as a thumb. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. You know, I, I guess the ultimate question I have is, is gosh, Victor, where, where are we going with all this? I mean, we've got the whole reason I got involved in Area 51 in the first place was because not only because they were uh, they were flying flying saucers up and down the valley that I was watching and bringing people out to see, but that this technology was so amazing. That I yeah, have you seen any? Uh, have you seen any evidence of it in the in the culture uh, at large? Of the no, technology? Obviously not. And uh, I, I think you should ask yourself why the government, if it if it had uh, mastered this alien technology, if it had traded for it or or wrested it by violence from these beings, why this technology uh, has not been presented before the world as, uh, as an example of, of, of unimaginable force. Well, we were, we were discussing that to some degree, and the, the, the STS-48 tape and now the STS-80 tape show things that would indicate that we do indeed uh, have this technology, and we are indeed using it. Not publicly, but we are using it, Victor. When you gave this tape, I believe that uh, th that's a false dawn. I don't. Uh, I, I, I don't believe it will be. Uh, be um, uh, it, it will be followed up. Um, and the reason I don't believe this is is that the. Uh, um, I, I believe I was. Uh, I, I mentioned earlier the the, the constant uh, um, uh, the constant contact uh, these aliens make uh, with with. Uh, Private individuals, but the, the, the comment I didn't get to was that the, the this uh, this constant uh, contact with the government uh, resembles um, a, a, a test. It resembles a a, uh, um, a a test that the government is failing, a, a test of its uh, of its purpose and of its uh, of its uh, spiritual uh, worth, if you will. All right. Um, when you gave the tape, Victor, to sure. Rocket Video. Yes. What was your motivation? Why did you, why did you take this tape to him? Did you want? Well, well, I, I took it to Rocket Video because I had, uh, I had decided that I wanted money, uh, and uh, at the at the time I had more rationalizations than I have today. But uh, I I felt that I was putting myself in danger, putting my career in danger, and that I needed uh, to. Uh, to uh, give myself as much uh, uh, latitude for for uh, for, for uh, essentially fleeing as I could, and uh, that I that I needed money. And uh, when I when I went went to Hollywood hat in hand, rather rather foolishly, uh, I, I it quickly became apparent to me that um, 
that uh, almost everyone, that, well, that, that almost no one could be trusted to maintain my privacy, not not because they um, they, they particularly you know cared about uh, upending my plans, but okay. simply because they felt that that the publicity would be uh, would be uh, in, to their benefit, or in some cases, in some of the larger organizations, the uh, you know, I I didn't get to the point of actually discussing this, but I I, I intuited that they were worried about their reputations. Uh, this this business with the uh, alien autopsy, uh, has, I, I I guess I assume this from from things I uh, that have been said that, that to a certain extent, uh, Fox Television has has suffered uh, some some ridicule that they. Right. They don't seem to be able to. Uh, but you're honest. To, to take off. But at any rate, the Rocket Pictures offered me uh, a deal that I felt I could take. That I uh, that still has maintained my anonymity. Uh, although they 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 do keep pushing me to make more and more of these statements. This 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 call is the uh, is the. Uh, um, the end of it? Uh, it was is the end of the contractual uh, uh, arrangement, and it was supposed to have happened before the end of last year. Um, not with you, but with whoever they uh, they chose as, as, as the outside uh, interview. Um, and uh, and here here we are now. And uh, now they're they, they they have they have Germans, they have uh, I don't know who the the British, they have innumerable people that they want me to talk to, and I, I and even for money I, at this point I, I think it's more dangerous than than it's worth. So you are going well, to take what money you have been given? Oh, well, you're, you're, you're it's gone. I mean, it's not gone, but it, 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 I have uh, I have removed myself uh, financially from uh, from from. Uh, from a need of them, what I what I need from Rocket now is simply that they uh, that, that I fulfill my agreement with them, so that uh, they will fulfill their agreement with me. And you now wish to fade into yes, obscurity? Absolutely. And we will never hear from you again. I, I well, I can't. As I say, this this entire experience has been not what I expected, and not and 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 and. I, I initially I had a certain kind of contempt for Robert Lazar. I thought he was a was a, um, uh, a grandstander. I thought he enjoyed the, the spotlight, and uh, perhaps uh, I, I can't really say now. I I understand the forces that, that begin to work on you when you when you do something like this. Not that you know, you're, no matter how much you try to keep yourself uh, sealed off, uh, when you when you speak. The response that comes back to you has a, has a pull that you that is that is that is terrible. Well, there is one big difference, Victor. They know where to find Bob. They okay. don't. They don't know where to find you. Yes. Well, I am hoping to keep it that way. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to thank you for joining yeah. us. Oh, I see that it's almost two. I was. I, I, yes, actually, um, we we do need to uh, wrap this up. I I think the appropriate term is terminate the interview. Yes. Uh, well. Um, <laughs> I, I, I gather that was a joke. Oh. That was a joke. Victor, yeah. uh, I wish you a safe, healthy life. Uh, you've answered everything uh, to the best of your ability, and we've a asked just about everything we can, so be safe, my friend. Be safe. Uh, when we come back, at Sean David Morton. And we got, oh boy, did we get a lot more from that than I thought we were going to. Uh, you have good days and you have bad days, and this is a good day. We will continue uh, in a moment.